so it's after New Year's and uh, we have four feet of snow on the ground. Kind of hard to fish in that. And it's 12 degrees out, I think. That's also kind of hard to fish in. So tonight I'm sitting around thinking about fishing and I'm working on a few reels that I have and I need somebody's help for a part because I really like this reel. It's a uh, Shakespeare number 1776 and I'm missing the handle here. And I'd really like to get that so I could fix this reel and add it to my collection. Maybe take it out and fish with it a couple times. It's an old reel. I don't know what year it's from, but you know, it's when the uh, spin cast were made out of all metal. Good condition. Probably came out in 19... I don't know. Somebody could probably help me out. But it's made in the USA. Really nice reel, and I'm ju I just need that handle, and I'm willing to pay like 10 bucks for it. So if you run across one, please let me know. I also got a smelt rod ready. I'm going to fish for smelt. And after the past couple weeks, there's probably a bunch of ice out there, and I probably will just ice fish for them. If I could get out there, I only go out when the ice is like five inches thick, five, six inches thick before I go out. I don't like falling through. And even when it's that thick, you could fall through. But, you know, smelt, they haven't been around my area lately. I live in Erie, Pennsylvania, Lake Erie. You know, back when I was a kid, there was tons of smelt. You can catch a bucket full when you're out ice fishing, but now they don't seem to be as plentiful, and they don't run the streams, and you can't you can't net catch catch them. You have to go out there and catch a few with your rod and reel, and I'm hoping to do that within the path within the next few months, and I'll post videos of that. But I have a small rod ready with real light line. It's either two or four pound test. Put the four pound on in case I catch a hog jumbo perch or something. Or maybe hook into a steelhead, but I'll probably lose them on four pound test. But I got that ready. Just in case there's some open water, I could put a bobber on there and some ice jigs and catch some smelt. So I'll be bringing those videos to you. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. And if you could help me with that real part, I'd really appreciate it. Peace and good luck fishing.